Hello, welcome to the National Shelf Service. My name is Agnès Lyon. I am Senior Librarian for Schools, Children and Young People in Sunny East Lothian. I was judge on the Carnegie and Kate Greenaway panel in 2008 and 2009, and I then had the privilege to chair the panel in 2015. The book I would like to recommend today is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. It's a historical novel and it was written in 2005. This book is suitable for anyone aged 12 and above. It is not an easy read, uh, not only because of its length, it is about 500 pages, uh, over 500 pages, but also because of the challenging subject matter it deals with. However, it is well worth the effort. So, to the story. It is 1939, death, our narrator is about to become very, very busy. The story takes place in Nazi Germany. It follows Missel, a little girl who is taken to a new family because her mother cannot take care of her. But on the way, a little brother dies. And it is at his graveside that she picks up her first book, the Grave Digger's Handbook, it was abandoned in the snow. Although she cannot read yet, this first act of book thievery is the start of a love affair with words and books. Despite being haunted by nightmares about her brother's death, Lizzo settles in wealth in a new surrounding in Himmel Street. She develops very strong bonds with the first of her father, Hans, a patient and caring man who helps her learn to read and also helps her cope with the nightmares. She comes to appreciate her gruff but caring foster mother, Rosa. She also develops a strong friendship with Rudy, one of the neighbor's children. But war closes in with all its horrors, hunger and fear. And one day, Max, a Jewish man, arrives and the family hides him in the basement. The Book Thief is an extremely powerful depiction of life under the Nazis. A wide spectrum of human experiences is represented. Grief, friendship, heroism, cruelty. It really shows the whole spectrum, the worst and the best of humanity. But in the end, it is resilience and the strength of the human spirit that comes out. The fact that the book is narrated by death also gives a new and interesting perspective. Death is not the hooded grim reaper that we normally picture, but a more compassionate character. And through his struggle to understand human nature, we also see it differently. I love the language. It is lyrical, it is poetic, and it makes great use of symbolism and imagery. This is fitting because the book is also a celebration of the power of words, not only to manipulate and to bring hate, but also as a means to resistance and hope. This book is haunting, thought-provoking and life-affirming. I hope you enjoy reading this book. It is available on Overdrive and Borrowbox. Please check your library's ebook platform. And if this book is not available, why not try other books by Marcus Duzak. Be safe and keep reading.